All right, here we are for our somewhat weekly walkthrough of the Spurl, Spur and the Pearl U. We have our yarrow here. We're gonna start harvesting that for some oils, for salves and things. Echinacea still doing really, really well. We can start making our tinctures with that. Raspberries have come in nicely. Ooh, there's a red ripe one that I must have. I must have you. Oh, the stem came off, hold on. Take that. Hi, kitty. Yes, and I'm going to chew this in your ear. You're welcome. Another thing, really excited about this. The muscadines are starting out little, putting out little clusters here. Now, I don't know how what's going to happen next. This is the first year I've had them, and they've done this. I'm guessing those are going to open up into little flowers, and then hopefully we'll have the bees or the wasps come in and pollinate all those, and those will turn into the fruit. So there's clusters on that one, there's clusters on that one, there's clusters on all four. So I think we're really gonna hopefully see some muscadines crop. All right, I chopped and dropped the comfrey uh, less than a week ago, and it's already coming back very strong, right there. Coming back very, very strong. So that stuff really just grows. Oh, what's this? I don't know what that is. It looks as though it's been planted. Um, strawberries. Still getting some strawberries. Depends on how frequently we pick them. We usually get a nice, oh, double handful. There for a few weeks, we were getting two or three quarts every two or three days, just absolutely covered up in them. And another one of my favorite things to do is have kind of a hot sun strawberry in the afternoon. Delicious. This is blackberry. Growing a lot taller than I thought it would. That's okay. It's backdropping the pawpaw tree and the pear tree, so it's not going to shade anything out. And we've got some fruit. They're starting to turn red, so they should be getting ready to ripen and eat shortly. This tomato not doing so great. That tomato not doing the best. There's another cage over there that's okay. But then we got these cages up here. Um, squash, cucumber are coming in. Let's see. I know that in those cages up there, we've got some. Tomato set. So not even into the end of May. We're just gonna start getting some tomatoes here soon. I should probably start thinking about rooting some of the suckers to maybe grow some more tomatoes elsewhere. Let these do what they, they're gonna do. I came through here and did a bunch of chop and drop yesterday. You can see evidence of it right there behind that tomato plant. Some more evidence back through there. Uh, I could come out here and chop and drop for multiple hours. Ooh, there's a pretty little flower. Right there. Hi, kitty. My kiwi growing strong, both of them. So that's good news. Uh oh. That right there is a Japanese beetle. We don't like them. I'm going to thump it. Uh, tomato plant here on the water harvesting berm. Didn't really check it over. It's got some blossoms coming. And been chopping and dropping the tops of the mustards. They're getting to where they're a little bit unpalatable. 
but they're doing an important job of holding this back side of this berm together so they're going to stay there as long as possible. Lots of beans coming up which is good. A few lettuces also. The goji appears to be doing fairly well. Huh. Doing fairly well. It's got it's like a couple of sticks that have died off, but it's also got some good strong growth on it too. That tomato's getting a little overcovered. I have to come and give it some room. That tomato is doing okay. So that is that. Oh, and asparagus. We got some little asparagus ferns have come up. So it looks like I got a good stand there in that strip. I've been kind of, you know, chopping and dropping here and there, putting lots of good soil building humus down in it and I've been filling that trench in a little bit here and there. So I'll get it filled back up to the lip and those should be well established. Let them grow again next year and not harvest anything and then I think we'll have a good spring of asparagus. Up here this elderberry hanging in surviving I wouldn't say thriving but it's it's hanging in this is the blue elderberry that I bought online and I'll take a quick trip into the backyard for a couple of new additions have a couple little maypops we dug up from my wife's grandfather's yard that was a, about five days ago they're hanging on again don't look like they're thriving but they're not dying either there's one here it looks like it's putting on some new growth so that's good news. And they got some good rain yesterday, which they needed. And then one more special addition. I went out to the park and found some elderberries that were suckering. And that was a good week ago. I've had them in pots. And they both, these two have appeared to have survived. So that's exciting. Uh, got them kind of sheltered here. They get some nice light sun in the morning and then shade it out from the harsh stuff in the afternoon. Again, all of my stuff that I'm hoping to sell as soon as I'm approved for the farmer's market. And I've got my catchment pump down here all set up and plumbed to my catchment tank. And it works well, so I'm excited about that. We had about two inches of rain yesterday, and we went from a little over 50 gallons up to here. There are some efficiency and collection things I need to do. You can see that paint stick out of the roof there. I think if I can get a wedge, that will tilt that gutter right now it's losing a lot of water off the lip of the gutter I get that tilted I think I can catch a little bit more efficiently the rain there and I think I need some kind of an elbow the what I'm using now is a mosquito filter is this and this really um, as soon as there's any water at all going in there really restricts the flow and most of the water seems to come here and just drip, dribble out over the side. I'm thinking I'm going to get a PVC elbow 
back this up somewhat and see if I can't center that elbow on that hole and maybe stuff this here with some spongy type stuff to act as more of a filter. Anyway, that's what we got going on these days. Good healthy lettuce salad garden. Good healthy, oh they look much happier with that rain. Herb garden. Dill there. Nasturtium. Stevia is looking a little sad. Uh, cilantro is too. I think that might have something to do with 